going on you guys it's been a little bit since i made a video i'm gonna make my first tutorial on how to do some high-end skin retouching using frequency separation so basically i'm gonna show you how i turn this into this but first i got a little intro for this video <laughs> probably wondering what was the point of that so long story short um i was supposed to meet up with the model earlier during the day it got too late got dark so we kind of improvised did something in here made something out of nothing and i figured i'd record whatever uh, i've been doing youtube for about two and a half maybe more years almost three and i learned everything i learned as far as video and photo from youtube so i feel like i reached a point where I could probably give some of that back and start teaching what I know or what I learned with my own twist to it and hopefully I can help you guys out. So I'm going to be showing you guys basically frequency separation which is the key to high end skin retouching uh, using one action. Now I did not create this action, I got it from, I'll leave the link below by the way to where to download the action. It's from a uh, guy on YouTube named Pix and Perfect, his channel is amazing. I learned everything I learned off of YouTube from this dude. He created an action where it basically will frequency separate everything for you. Uh, all you have to do is play the action. So once you click the link and download it, you're gonna go here, hit the play button, where this little play button is, actions. And if you don't see that, then just go to window and then click actions and you'll see it. So then you're gonna go there, then you're gonna click these little lines here on the corner to load the action. And um, you'll go down to load actions and wherever it is that you save it, whatever folder, desktop, whatever, uh, you just find it, it's right here and then you hit open it. I'm not gonna open it because I already have it. Once you open it, you're gonna see this frequency separation. Uh, it might say picks and perfect. So you hit the little drop down arrow there and then you have 8-bit or 16-bit. Now, if you don't know what type of, if your camera shoots, whether it shoots in 8-bit or 16-bit, uh, the way you can find out is you go to image and then you go to mode and then it'll be checked off, whatever your image is. 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, mine's 8-bit. Um, so then you hit play. Once you hit play, you can zoom out and you're gonna see that it's pretty blurry. It'll be at 8.0. Bring the radius all the way down to zero. Then gradually start bringing the radius up until you start to see the image get blurry and details disappear. Like for an example, you could click on like, you could zoom into the, like the lips there. You see how there's detail. You wanna just start bringing it up once you start seeing detail disappear. For me, it normally is like around four, 3.5. So I'm gonna just call it four, hit okay. Once you hit okay, it'll do everything for you because it's an action. And then you'll see down here, it says picks and perfect, hit the little arrow on the drop down menu and then you're gonna see the high frequency, the low frequency. It already did all the frequency separation for you. I would explain it, but that'd be a whole nother video and it'd be a long ass video. I don't wanna make this video too long. Um, so once you do that, you're going to make a copy of the low frequency. So, um, command J, uh, for PC, it's, uh, I'll leave it below. I, I gotta be in front of the keyboard to know what it is. So it's command J on a Mac to make the copy, or you can just right click and then duplicate layer. So once you make the duplicate copy, now you're going to create a new layer. You'll leave that alone for now, and then you're gonna create a new layer hitting this down here in the corner. And you wanna name that layer Blem. Because what we're gonna do first is get rid of all the blemishes on the photo. So zoom in on the face. I'm gonna tuck this in 
And then what you're gonna do is make sure you got that layer clicked and then you're gonna right click on this. It normally will have the little band-aid icon and if it doesn't, just right click on it. It's right under the dropper tool. So right click on it and then choose the healing brush tool. And then once you choose the healing brush tool, make sure you got current and below checked off. And then what you're gonna do is hold down um, option and control. You hold it down, you see how this little circle comes up? Well, once you have those held down, you hold down the, uh, the left click on the mouse and it turns red. And if you move the mouse left and right, the circle gets smaller and bigger. So now what you wanna do is choose how big you want it and then let all of that go. Now you hold down option and click on a piece of the skin. You gotta keep option held down. Click on a piece of the skin you wanna sample, let it go, and then click over what you wanna get rid of. The pimple there, boom. So then again, hold down option to sample from here, get rid of that. And then you're gonna do that throughout the entire face. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll come back. Once you go through the entire face and you um, get rid of all the blemishes and stuff like that, you're gonna go ahead and click back down on that low frequency copy that you made. And the same Band-Aid icon there, you're gonna right click on it and scroll down to patch tool and you're gonna start patching. Now what patching is, is basically the same thing, but it's like you get rid of bigger areas and, and then like if there's pieces of the light or like the way a shadow hit somewhere small that you don't want it, you can get rid of it. Um, just be careful with it. You don't want to do too much and then like shift the shape of the face and fuck it all up. No. Like under the eye here, it's dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle it and there's the little marching ants show up and then I'll dr click hold and drag it to like a part where I want to sample and boom. Wait, why? Okay, there. So then like it starts getting rid of it, but like little by little, it doesn't do it in one shot. It's like it blends its way through it. So like you just keep working on it and it lightens it up. Um, give, like right here in the corner of the mouth, it's a little dark there. So I'll, I'll lighten it up, you know, stuff like that. That's kind of what you do with the patch tool. It's, it's almost the same thing, but like bigger, bigger areas. So like there's a couple little, you know, blemishes there boom clean them up so that's as far as the um, patch tool so then once you're all set doing that I'm doing this kind of quick for the sake of this tutorial I, I usually get really into detail with this and, and take more time with it but now this is where everything comes into play after you get you do your blemishes and then your patching you're gonna create a new layer and once you create that new layer call that layer paint or sculpt or whatever because they call this sculpting I don't know to me it's painting once you create that painting layer you're gonna use the brush tool and it's the same concept of like the way the healing tool you sample and shit like that um, you're gonna sample from a piece and then you're gonna color now I just want to say a quick note some people use this Wacom tablet type of shit to do this I got so used to using my mouse I don't know maybe i'm crazy but i use my mouse i want to start using that because i actually know how to draw and shit and um i don't know i'm just comfortable using this shit and then uh also another note some people when they're gonna get into their painting it's up to you it's totally up to you if you want to do this but you can actually create layers for each part of the face that you're gonna work on so like if you're gonna do the nose you can create a layer for just the nose just in case you overdo it or fuck up on the nose you can just delete that layer I fucked up enough times where I'm comfortable to do it all in one layer I got experience doing this shit already so that's that I'm just gonna do it all in one layer and I'm gonna do it kind of fast because I don't want this video to be that long so all right, I got the paintbrush up. You click on the paintbrush here or hit B on the keyboard and the brush tool comes up. Make sure the brush tool is off. If for some reason you see something other than the brush tool, just right click. And you'll see the pencil, the color replacement mixer brush. You want to use the brush tool. Make sure the mode is on normal. And very important, make sure the flow is on 3%. 
and I'll tell you why because it kind of works like an airbrush and if you put it on 100% it does too much in one stroke so I, I normally like to leave it on 3% and I'm gonna show you why so like for an example I'm gonna click and hold down option right? click and hold down option I'm gonna sample from here Boom. now at 3% if I color it see how this part is different if I color it it's gonna take me a while for it to turn to this color it's not like the tablet I don't you don't have pressure sensitivity so it's more so like how long you are actually going over the same area but now I'm overdoing it right but you see how gradually it colors the area with the flow at 3%. Now, if you put it at 100% and then take, do the same thing, take the sample there, one little click on the mouse, colors it full blast. You don't want that. So leave the flow at 3%, two or 3%. And um, yeah, then what you do, some people do this. I do it sometimes uh, on the Pix and Perfect video of this method. He shuts off the high frequency, which makes the image blurry. But now you're not really worried about detail. You're only worried about the color of the way the skin looks. So it kind of helps with figuring out, you know, how to color what you want to color. To me, coloring or this painting, it's basically manipulating the light. So like if you look at the image here, you know, she's got a highlight there. I got a warmer, I got a cooler light in this side and a warmer light in this side. So she's got a harder highlight here and here from this light being on that side and then she's got cool light there so you know it gives different type of tones on the skin so you're basically sculpting or painting shaping those highlights and skin colors and cleaning things up like it's a little red around here there's a little <clears throat> different colors of the skin right there like so you sample let's say all of it's this color here so you sample from there and you kind of get rid of that there and you do that throughout the whole face. You see how it's, it seems like a little redness there. I wanna smoothen that out. So I'll just click there and then I'll get rid of it. And then like the shadow here is a little strong for my taste. So like I'll sample this and I'll lighten it up. I won't get too crazy because you, you don't wanna like overdo it and then take away dimension from the face either. So like be careful when it comes to that. So then like for an example here, I'll, I'll give you an example. You click there. And you color the hell out of this really hard but now her face looks flat you know it takes away her smile crease and it looks like she never smiled in her life so you know you don't want to do that you want to leave some some like dimension so it looks natural still so like you know you're just cleaning up highlights and the skin like I said I, I usually get more detail with this uh, I don't want to make the video really long so I'm trying to show you like a basic like just cleaning up uh, clean up the light here the way it blends with the other light boom 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 uh, clean up this middle part a little bit this is like some super quick shit I never do this this quick I'm just doing it for this video like I keep saying um, so if you know it, when you're actually taking your time things I do is like I'll, I'll zoom in and you see the little freckles I like I'll sample them if you hold it you can see the color change see wherever you're gonna choose from on the top of the circle there the top half so like boom it changes to that I'll sample that I'll shrink this down and then I'll like bring these out more so I'll color them in so they can stand out a little more in the photo because they're act they're there the light just kind of blew them out a little bit so bring them back you know the little freckles things like that now this is another thing I do you don't have to do this I do this but I clean up the eyebrows for the ladies because you know they like to have uh, their eyebrows on fleek so we'll clean them up a little bit make sure you don't overdo this though because like Naturally girls will do this they pencil in their eyebrows, you know, so like it's okay to do this But you don't want to overdo it because then it'll look fake Also, you don't want to fuck their eyebrows up because you want them to have eyebrows on fleek You know what I mean? 
so be careful doing this. Like I said, I'm an artist, so like I kind of have an imagination for this type of shit, so it's all good. But you don't overdo it. Make sure you don't overdo the eyebrows. Now I'll back out, fill them in a little bit. That's kind of sloppy, I'm not even gonna lie, but I mean, for the sole purpose of keeping the train moving. All right, so now like, now I'm gonna turn the high frequency on so you could see everything a little more detail. See the eyebrows? Now I'm gonna sh actually hold on. There's a little bit of darkness here. This is what I'm talking about. Perfect example. So it's kind of dark right here. So I'm gonna sample from around here, and I'm gonna just lighten it up just a little bit, not too much, because then it, you don't want it to look flat. Zoom out, and just for the sake of it being quick, it's done. As far as the frequency uh, the skin retouching, it's done. Now there's dodging and burning, which I'll do that in another video, and then, you know, coloring and all of that other stuff. But as far as the skin, that was just a quick example, and it's done. So like, this is before, boom. You can see the eyebrow, look at here, you know, the, the pimples and things like that, the blemishes, and after. And that's it that's all you do but take your time with it you know make it look natural take your time coloring shaping things up like see how this highlight is a little crooked I could probably straighten that highlight out things like that take your time with it make it look good and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it if uh, this video helped you in any way as far as your skin retouching please give it a like and please if there is something I didn't go over leave a comment below cuz like I don't have that big of a subscriber base, so I'm pretty good at answering questions quickly. So if there's anything I didn't cover or you're confused about anything, leave a comment below, I will answer. And I really, really hope I helped you out and I really hope I didn't do a shitty job on my official first tutorial. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it right there for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And oh, also, I'm gonna actually finish this photo and you'll see it right now.